Meth addiction is a serious and powerful disorder, and there is no quick fix. It takes time for our bodies and brains to heal. Just give it a few days, okay? The first three weeks of my early recovery, it was, it was hell for me. It was horrible, because I wanted to go out and use. I felt extremely vulnerable. I remember crying a lot. I could not sit still. I couldn't sleep. Even when I slept, my body would be jerking, my jaw would be gnashing. I slurred, and I couldn't comprehend that quickly. Treatment provides us with the knowledge and support system necessary to change our attitudes and behaviors and to build new lives. I'll pick you up in a few hours, okay? When we learn about our addiction and what to expect in recovery, we become more involved and more likely to succeed. Julia, welcome. Come on over here and have a seat. I didn't go in there wanting to absorb all this information, happy-go-lucky about being in recovery, you know? I went in there kind of cross-armed, but eventually it started sinking in. Julia, has that been a problem for you at all? I, I don't know what to say. In treatment, I learned that there are phases in recovery that I would be going through, and they gave me tools and gave me knowledge ahead of time so that I would know how to deal with this and know what to expect and know approximately when it's gonna end. After a few weeks off meth, we begin to feel better and may believe that we're healed. Some people call this the pink cloud or the honeymoon stage. It was almost like someone gave me a really good uh, antidepressant pill. Everything was wonderful. I thought I was cured, I was healed, and I could go back to doing whatever I needed to do. This feeling is deceptive. Once we are off meth for four to six weeks, we may enter an emotionally dark period, characterized by depression, irritability, fatigue, and hopelessness. We call this set of symptoms, which often last for the next eight to 12 weeks, protracted abstinence or the wall. Relapse is a big risk during this stage, so it is crucial for us to keep attending treatment sessions. I went through a flat line. Really kind of a hard depression kind of a stage where I really couldn't get out of bed. A lot of the times I felt like, well, I know what'll fix this. Symptoms of the wall typically fade once we hit four to six months without meth, but the journey isn't over.